Hello everyone. This video is for a demonstration of uh, Mocha.js Tech Talk. So we uh, demoed various uh, features of Mocha.js by uh, doing three or four uh, test cases in the class. And in this video, we'll again demonstrate how to uh, uh, use Mocha.js. So first step is to in install Mocha.js. So when you uh, uh, when you uh, clone the repo, just do npm install and it will install Mocha.js with all the dependencies. And um, to begin with, to begin testing with, all test is, tests are uh, uh, located in test folder within the repository. So, so we have four tests over here, as you can see. So I'll uh, first of all start with uh, basic JS. So this is the code for basic JS. Uh, Mocha JS has uh, some kind of uh, syntax for test we need to follow. Uh, it has describe blocks. Describe blocks are nothing but kind of name of the tests. So first describe block over here is <coughs> array. It means that we are testing high level component which is array. Inside that there is another describe block which is called in index of you can take it as a, a functionality name so inside component there is a functionality name index of that we want to test and next is it block so uh, tests in mocha starts with it and it has some kind of description so this index of test we want to check it should return negative one and value is not present and we call index of on that value so this is kind of one test Again, we wanted to write another test for checking length of an array. So again, we had another describe block and another it block within it for test. So <coughs> on high level, we have two tests over here for an array component. And let's see uh, how to run it. So to run any test in Mocha, you have to type Mocha command and give file path. So as you can see, both tests passed successfully. Uh, now let's see how it looks like when a test fails. So I'll fail the second test, which is length of an array. It has three elements and the expected output was three. Let's change it to four and run this again. So it passed index of test successfully, length test failed with uh, assertion error where 4 doesn't equal to 3 like 4 was expected and 3 was actual value received so you can see like when it failed it shows like what was the expected value what was the actual value and all so this is a uh, very basic how to run mocha test uh, moving on to next part uh, let's see uh, another feature of mocha dot only and dot skip blocks so within the basic.js we have two tests what if i want to run only one test and skip other test so for that say i want to run the uh, length test only so after describe if i put dot only it will run the length test only and skip all other tests so let's run that again just to see output clearly let's clear the screen So as you can see that it only ran the uh, length test and the length test failed. Let's change it to what it was previously. Yeah, so this output looks much better. Within array component, it ran only one test. So this functionality can be achieved uh, similarly by skip block. So rather than putting only on length test, I can put skip on uh, index of test so that it doesn't run that index of test <coughs> so we achieved the similar result but uh, it gives a different <coughs> view of result so it shows that the index of test didn't run and it was in it put it in the pending state so we can see that how many tests ran and how many were in pending state 
but overall it's the uh, same like it ran length test and script index of test so these are the uh, basic test and uh, other features moving on to dynamic test <coughs> mocha has very good feature that we can uh, generate dynamic test so say on very high level we have an array which uh, we want to test a functionality like it gives sum of element of an array for first argument over here the values are 1 and 2 and its sum is 3 for second the sum is 6 and likewise so rather than writing three different tests for this three data set I want to write only one test and I want to make sure that one test run the same uh, assertions on my data all data set so mocha is very good feature in which you can do just uh, test which is our variable dot for each and within that we can write only one test and it will run for all three uh, data sets with custom arguments so rather than creating three different tests I created only one which is like uh, good in a way that I didn't have to write more code so it removed code redundancy and it overall uh, uh, testing wise looks good so let's run it so as you can see over here it created three tests with two three and five uh, args moving forward uh, let's check out another feature of mocha which is hooks this feature is similar to uh, hooks in git we, when you run hooks before a commit or after a commit to do specific kind of uh, checkings and uh, uh, different things so over here hooks concept is same what if you want to do something before running a test and after running a test so basically hooks are of uh, three types in mocha uh, first of all the uh, root level hook so root level hook will run before mocha runs any test file in the test so and similarly after level after root level hook will run after all test files are ex executed uh, on second level there is a block level hook as you can see that the root level hook is before we wrote any test and block level hook is within a block within described blocks so block level uh, hook runs before we run any test within a block and similarly it has before and after and the third one is test level hook so we wrote two test level hooks which runs before a test and after a test so on very high level we wrote two tests over here so we should see that in output the root level hook executed once the block level root block level uh, hook executed once but test level hooks should be executed twice because we have two tests so let's check the output so in the output as you can see that first of all it ran hook, root level hook the before hook then block level before hook then as we can see that surrounding a test there is a test level before and test level after and similarly for the second test test level before and after and at the end block level and root level after so uh, you can use those uh, hooks to make your test look better and uh, remove the code redundancy and code, code duplicacy and in our last example uh, we'll check the code for uh, our homework 3 code so and for our homework 3 we used to run the redis server and we used to uh, uh, put the keys and uh, we used to run the set and get uh, methods over there so on very high level we wrote two test cases one for redis test set and one for redis test get so for set we uh, set a key with redis and it should reply that the value is set we are expecting that and for the get we set the uh, keys value as ncsu so whenever we retrieve the value it should expect value ncsu so to run this specific test you should have your 
red is running in your local and also the uh, redis file main.js should also be running so once those two things are running you can check this uh, test so as you can see that the get value get and set both are successful so these are the uh, four files that, that we demonstrated in the class for tech talk and uh, we want demonstrated uh, another two features like if you want to uh, export out of your output of your test for some kind of reporting or something then there is a, a reporting functionality so you have to type uh, while running your test you have to type dash dash reporter and if you want to get it in json then uh, the name is json co so as you can see that it gave the entire output in some kind of json format it's very useful when you want to do some kind of processing or analysis after uh, after tests are run so this is the one thing and second was the uh, watch feature watch feature is nothing but it continuously runs the tests in uh, test daemon in background so if you do any changes in your test and save it it will run the test again so it's also a very good feature for turning on this feature you have to run the mocha test with dash w option oh i forgot to remove reporter yeah so it says that the basic file ran and one test passed now if i change anything in my basic.js test file i don't have to run this test again because the daemon is running in the background so it will reflect the changes and run the test again so let's do some changes in our basic file again instead of 3 length 3 i'll change it to length 4 and let's see as you can see that i didn't do anything and the test daemon ran the test again so it's a good feature if you want to uh, do continuous testing while modifying test file uh, just to come come out of it i'll kill the daemon so that's all from our side uh, the code is on uh, repository you can have a look and run this all test by your own thanks again for watching the video bye